Hey everybody, it's Boochie Boy. You know, I wanted to bring you guys a sort of a quick little review on this holster here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails lately on the uh, fast draw double tap video that I posted with the P95 Ruger. A lot of people were asking me what holster I was using in that video and what holster I use just on a day-to-day -day basis with the uh, P95. So this is the holster. Uh, first off, this isn't just for the P95. Uh, this fits a, a bunch of different guns. Uh, this this is how it comes packaged to you. The holster on there. Uh, it fits a bunch of different guns. They're all listed down here. Glocks, uh, large autos, you know, Berettas, H&K, SIGs, Smith & Wesson. I'll put all this in the description box for you guys to read. Uh, this is a size 11. This is the 7500 Bianchi AccuMold holster. Uh, along with that, you get your normal uh, instructions. There's a couple different models here. Uh, instructions for use. They also give you a uh, little wooden tongue depressor. I'll show you what that's for in a minute. And they give you an Allen wrench. Basically, uh, the Allen wrench is to adjust the paddle. If you look on the back here, there's two screws in there. You loosen those up with the uh, Allen wrench and this paddle can move up and down and it can also twist left and right. So if you don't like where it's riding on your belt, maybe it's a little bit too high, you can lower it, you can raise it up, you can adjust the, uh, the angle of the holster on your thigh. If you want it tilted, can it forward a little bit and maybe you want it back. Uh, it's completely adjustable just by using these two uh, Allen screws. The uh, wooden uh, tongue depressor is to adjust the thumb strap. Basically there's uh, just some Velcro down in there. Pretty much, you know, like uh, any other holster, you would shove this down there and break that Velcro and then you could pull this thumb strap up and out, you know, move it left and right, wherever you need to get it to uh, to snap around your gun. Uh, it does have a closed muzzle. That's one of the things I was looking for in a holster. Uh, it keeps, you know, it keeps the dirt and debris out of there. I did want something with a thumb strap, which this has, you know, it, it built right into the holster. It's one piece. And on this side, the thumb strap is a nice, thick, uh, sort of rubberized polymer. Has a nice wide paddle on the back which is a two-piece construction. Uh, rather than making this paddle just out of one piece of uh, injection molded uh, polymer, they did it in two pieces right here at the seam. And they put it together with bolts and nuts here so that there's not as much uh, pressure on this stress point. And you pull the uh, paddle in and out, getting it on, uh, taking it off and putting it on every day you got that stress point right here so rather than just having the plastic which could snap they've made it in two pieces and they put uh, bolts and nuts there so it's a really good uh, quality holster it's it's molded I mean it's it's rigid it's it's still I mean you could still smush it you know but it's rigid this is all formed out it's a triple laminate construction the outer uh, material is just ballistics nylon in the middle of it there's a, uh, a closed cell foam which is going to keep away the uh, the moisture and uh, you know if you sweat a lot it's not going to wick through the holster this isn't going to retain moisture it's not going to corrode your uh, firearm or whatever if you leave it in there and the inner uh, lining is it's a uh, cop text lining is what they call it it's a real nice uh, tight weave and it's pretty smooth in there so you can draw the gun out real easy, reholster it. On the bottom of the thumb strap you can see how this is sort of corrugated. That's so whenever you fold it over you don't get all that material bunching up underneath. Because of that corrugation you don't have all that extra material to get in the way. Nice, uh, nice tight uh, quality made snap right there that's not going to come off anytime soon uh, it's a great holster 
like I said, I bought this uh, for the P95 Ruger, uh, pretty much to use at the range. I do use this sometimes whenever I open carry the Ruger. Uh, I live in Pennsylvania, so open carry is perfectly legal here. You uh, you don't even need a license to open carry. Uh, all you have to be is 21, and you know, have your pistol legally, and you can open carry it. So I do do that sometimes, and this is the holster I use. It's really good. Uh, I'd recommend it to anyone. I can't speak on the other guns that uh, that fit this holster because I don't have them to test. Uh, but the P95 Ruger does fit in here pretty nicely. When you get this new, it is going to be a little bit tight, as you know, pretty much any kind of a semi-custom or custom holster is going to be. Uh, you want it tight because you want this to break into the gun. After you've had your gun in here for a while, this nylon and everything is going to relax a little bit, and it's just going to be a perfect fit. Uh, Bianchi says that you can, uh, if it's really, really super tight, you can take something like a dress sock or whatever and slide it over the muzzle of your gun and then push it in there and just let it sit in there for a day or two. And that's going to stretch it out nicely and, uh, you know, it's going to fit like a glove after that. So, uh, yeah, this is just a $15 cheap Uncle Mike's, uh, inside the waistband that I use sometimes and you really can't compare I mean when you look at a forty or fifty dollar holster like this Bianchi and you compare it to something cheap like this uh, there's really no need to to go and buy something like this because it's just gonna fail uh, if you look at the thickness you probably gonna be able to see really good but uh, the thickness of something like this you know it's flimsy it's cheap it's basically garbage and I regret buying that because it's just a waste of money. If you get a good holster to begin with, this is twice as thick and uh, just the, the entire construction is, you know, ten times better. Everything on here is double stitched along the edges. Um, everything, all the stress points are bolted together, you know, where everything needs to be. The, uh, like I said, the thumb snap is nice and solid this uh, this part of the thumb strap it doesn't have a steel insert but it's a nice thick rubberized polymer and it it doesn't feel like it's going to be breaking anytime soon so by the way if anything does break you get a two year warranty when you buy this holster so if it breaks you send it back and they'll, uh, they'll give you a new one uh, the paddle has some uh, some rubberized uh, areas here at the bottom also on this side with some ridges to uh, to catch your jeans or whatever you know just to hold everything on there uh, nice and tight so whenever you draw your gun you don't pull the holster up with it uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really great holster and I'd recommend it to anybody they do make this in a belt loop version this is the paddle version obviously if you don't like paddle holsters for some reason they do make this exact holster in just a belt loop and it's a polymer belt loop uh, just like this it's about fifteen dollars cheaper than the paddle version so uh, if you're looking for something like that they got you covered they make this in a uh, a leather version as well I think here it is the uh, model 59 secret agent that's the leather version of the paddle here's the uh, AccuMold here that's what we're looking at. Uh, so yeah, if if uh, you think uh, you know you're looking for a holster for your gun, doesn't have to be the P95. Like I said, check out Bianchi's website, uh, Bianchi.com, and also Bianchi-intl.com, and uh, you know see what they got. I'm sure they make something for your specific gun. Uh, they've been in business a long time, so they're probably going to have something that's uh, going to work for you real good. Uh, that's going to about do it, I guess. I'm trying to remember if I forgot anything. Um, looking at my little list here, I don't see anything. Uh, it's it's worth the money. Uh, this is the first 
paddle holster that I ever bought. I didn't really know what all the fuss was about with paddles. You know, I used to just use the uh, the belt loop versions of outside the waistband holsters, and I won't go back. Uh, I'll always buy paddle holsters now because when you have a heavy gun, a uh, full size heavy gun like the P95, uh, if you go from just a uh, belt loop version to the paddle, this paddle really distributes that weight across your entire thigh and uh, makes the gun feel so much lighter when you're carrying it in a proper holster like this versus just a belt loop where you have uh, all that weight just hanging off of one small part of your belt pulling down like I said pulling your pants down and all that so uh, by the way these these uh, two slots here these aren't for a belt to slide through uh, I guess you could slide a belt through there if it was I don't know pretty thin belt an inch or less but uh, these are so you can get in there with your allen screw and adjust the paddle exactly where you want it so it's a great holster again I'd recommend it to anyone uh, this is the uh, the holster I was using in that video so uh, yeah that's about it if you guys have any questions or whatever you can uh, leave a comment or send me a message uh, check out Bianchi's website and have a great day later